general public is taught it's all a joke and doesn't exist. You know, it's a conspiracy theory that anything else exists or anyone is manipulating me. That is the hypnotist of the system telling people nothing exists outside of my voice. And we notice that uh, good hypnotists you know, will first call 10 people up, ask them questions. They can tell off cues who is suggestible. They'll send back you know, 80% of the people they call up, yeah. but keep a couple of them and then the person is willing to do it. But when you're born put in front of a television, when you're born with the chemicals in food and water, all of this happening, the sperm counts dropping, the testosterone, uh, the women all screwed up, the thyroid problems, uh, the overall brain waves lowering, the fertility, they are killing us. So how do the chemicals, which they're obviously increasing the levels of, we're exposing it, so now they're on the news going, yeah, lithium in the water, Prozac in the water, statins, that's now out in the open, chemtrails, aluminum, they're, in, they're obviously increasing the chemical bombardment, how do you, I mean, how high will they turn it up? Will well, it work? It doesn't seem to be working. Well, uh, what we're, we're actually looking at, um, Alex, uh, is a, a situation which refers back to what we were talking about earlier, about the, um, the wake up. I've been talking now for 22 years about the fact that there is an energetic, let's call it, because it's true, information change going on in the waveform fabric of our reality. Um, I knew about it 20 years ago, and I was told that the effect it would have would be that we, I was going to see in my lifetime this great awakening of people um, to see a new vision of self in the world that they'd never seen before. And all that had been hidden was going to be brought to the surface by this information change. Now, 22 years ago, I mean, no sign. Look at it now. I mean, the, the very... Uh, the program we're talking on is an expression uh, of of this uh, all that's been hidden coming to the surface and and look what we know now about how the world's manipulate we didn't know five years ago ten years ago it's fantastic so they knew this was coming and what they're doing is they're trying to mitigate the effect um on people by destabilizing. If you take the, 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 the human biological computer and you, you, you relate it to a desktop computer, if you put viruses in a desktop computer, it is not going to decode the internet or anything like that in an accurate, powerful, effective way. It's going to cause mayhem. And what in effect, if you look at chemicals, uh, Alex, and, and, and the chemtrails and the aluminium, again, in the holographic realm, we see chemical substances. But if you go back to their base state, which is a waveform information field, if you could see that, it would be uh, incredibly disruptive. It wouldn't be harmonious. It would be uh, just a mess. It's jamming. It's electrochemical noise yeah. that, that at the electrochemical level fries us. So what does the system do? As, as in a way they're poisoning of everybody and, ki and, and cancer rates off the chart and all this, that's one of the biggest things waking people up is that enough folks are seeing their loved ones dead and dying to yeah. actually realize it's a soft kill operation. So this, this, is, this is what I was talking about years ago. The time would come, and my goodness me, are we there, when um, what had been covertly manipulated would have to break the surface. I mean, if they want to bring in this society that, you, that you've been talking about the, you know, earlier in this chat, then we're going to have to see it at some point. And, and this is obviously uh, where we are. It's a point of danger because they're confident enough to break the surface or desperate enough because they're trying to do it before the wake up brings it down. Um, but it's also a wonderful opportunity because one of the, the greatest forms of human control is actually denial. And you look at any area of society from, from uh, New Age to the military, and you'll, you'll see lots and lots of people in complete denial of the obvious. Why? Because they don't want to face the fact that the world is as they'd rather it not be. So instead of facing that, let's kid ourselves that it's not like that really denial now what is happening now absolutely uh, right is that as this stuff comes into our face more and more blatantly it's getting more and more difficult to deny it's happening and, and therefore more and more people are, are having to face the fact that actually it is happening and and it's no good hiding from the fact we've got to face it and so it's it's a, it's a, it's a, a time of great opportunity as well as a time of great a great challenge, you know. And I